I'll tell you, we couldn't be more excited right now to be out here at DeVaries right now. We got ABC Supply Managing Partner, Eric Hunt with us right now. Introduce yourself in just a second. Of course, the founder of Equipta right here, Aaron. Thank you very much for inviting me out here. And Eric, thanks so much for having us out I appreciate man. you guys being here today, man. It's a big event and we appreciate your support. Absolutely. Now I want to turn it over to you though, Aaron. Um, you've got a history with the, with ABC Supply and it's a really unique one. Could you just tell like kind of our audience and maybe educate us a little bit? How it all got started for you, brother? Yes, well, uh, as you know, I'm the inventor of the Equipter. And so years back when I invented the Equipter, we went to the IRE, International Roofing Expo, and uh, at that event, we met Ken Hendricks, which was the founder of ABC, ABC Supply. And uh, from there, we established a, somewhat a personal relationship with, with Ken. He gave me his uh, cell phone number, and I was just so intrigued with his humility. And he talked about, hey, if you guys ever want to sell out. Uh, and so anyway, it was just great to have a personal connection uh, with Ken. And so I guess based on that, I've always appreciated and in some ways had ABC Supply uh, in my heart. So uh, when you invited us uh, to come to z this event, I hear you're one of the the top uh, locations. So why don't you just tell us a little bit about that? Uh, be glad to hear about that. Maybe again, just introduce your, uh, your branch here and sure, tell sure. us about yourself. So um, my name's Eric. I'm the manager of Tavares, Florida. We're just north of Orlando. Uh, we're, we've become a, a large branch. We actually did the most squares in all of ABC last year of shingles. So we did uh, almost 570,000 squares out of here. We run 23 trucks. We do about 2,600 squares every day. We were the top branch in the country in certain uh, squares, top branch in the country in Tamco squares, about 70 employees. It's a big branch. And, you know, the reason that we are successful is because of our partnerships with our customers and the staff we have here and you know in partnership with our vendors so it's it's just a pleasure to work at this branch and you know doing events like this is, is uh, you know kind of part of the culture that we're trying to create it and keep it to varies so I, I just want you to clarify that again from what I heard you saying you sold the most squares yes sir from the locations that's how many locations oh. 500 or oh no there's or, about a thousand a ABCs. thousand locations <laughs> and this branch right here yes sir sold the most squares out of all those uh, branches last year that's just incredible I, <laughs> quite, quite an accomplishment. Really quite accomplishment it's pretty neat it's pretty neat i'm gonna i'm gonna push back on you here a little bit okay you know, we go around to all these different places whether it be a roofing contractor or a supplier and everybody says customer service you know we're the best at doing it but right now we're out here at an event and we'll show some B-roll right now of it. You know, the things that you got going on, I don't see this everywhere. Um, is this really what sets you apart? I mean, this kind of stuff like this? Because everybody says customer service, you gotta be doing something different around here. We try, you know, one thing that we've always tried to do is not be order takers. We want to find ways to make our customers actually grow their business. So if it's helping them get in a new section of work, if it's helping them say they want to get into new construction or they want to get into insurance or they want to get into commercial or they want to get into siding or they want to get into solar, we're now stocking solar. We do our best to help them be successful. Like that's genuinely what we try to do because if, we're, if they're successful, we are. Um, that's kind of what this is about today. I mean, you know, and, and we're trying to do a little bit even more. Like we've got charity organizations here today. We're trying to help our community. Um, you know, we're really, really trying to just uplift everybody. Uh, we take pride in that. Um, so I really think it's, that's, that's our, our culture. That's why if you don't do it, you won't be successful. So I think that kind of stands for itself. That, that uh, I had a roofing company back before I invented the equipment. And I know how important that is for a supply company, like you're saying, to have that customer service. I used to like to know, you know, when are my shingles arriving? And if they arrived two hours late, that was a problem for me because of way, the way I had my setup. For sure. And so it's just great to hear that that's your focus, customer service. And uh, I guess it's showing up by the amount of sales that you're doing. Well, you know, I, th I think it does. But, you know, it's just, I, my father was a builder. And, you know, I understand how it is to be on that side of the, of the industry when something doesn't show up and you're expecting it and when you're scheduling subs. So I understand it. And, you know, I think. I was outside sales before I was a manager. I was the one that got the call when the customer wasn't communicated with. 
So I, I really try to be conscious of that and remember where I came from. And, I, and my team, they really do the same way. I mean, it, we're, it's, I'm the one that's sitting here with the interview, but I'm only here because of the team I have. I noticed that already this morning, how much hospitality your guys showed me when I showed up this morning. And um, you may not be aware of this, but uh, Ken Hendricks, uh, again, the founder of ABC Supply, uh, and this is, he'd be very proud of you, I might say that, because uh, when he was still alive, uh, he said, the, when he was asked, what is the, was the highlight of your business career up until that point? So Ken Hendricks, a billionaire at that time, I think, you know, 100 on the Forbes list, list or something. Uh, uh, he was asked, what was the highlight of your business career? And this is how he answered. He said, I had my uh, manager's meeting, I think it was just a year before, or maybe a couple months before he was asked that question. And at that time, he had 700 people at his manager's uh, meeting, annual manager's meeting. Obviously, there'd be a lot more than that now. And so then he asked his managers at the manager's meeting, I want you to stand up. If you um, started working for ABC Supply as a forklift operator or truck driver or janitor, uh, and now these were managers. So, But if you started working at ABC Supply, and he said over half of them stood up. I believe it. And that was, that was he said, the, the highlight of his business career because he had such a desire to help people come from here to here. And so it's just exciting for me to see you with that passion. How can you help? You said you had, you know, uh, local people here that help humanity and things. Uh, I'm sure Ken would be really proud of you. Well, I appreciate you saying that. You know, it's a, it's a great company to work for. Um, I've been here 14 years. I can't picture myself working for any other place. ABC's just given me a lot of opportunity. I've seen it create a lot of opportunity for other people. And, you know, what else can you really ask for? Right. That's true. Eric, I gotta ask you this, man. Just talking to you here briefly, it seems like you carry the weight of this on your shoulders. Like, hey, this is me. This is my responsibility. Those contractor success, you carry that with you. Have you always been that way? I mean, or am I getting the wrong feeling? Because it seems like you take it personally, their success, their well-being. It's 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 personal. I mean, it really is personal. I mean, if you think about it, if they're successful, they, they feed their families. If they're successful, they help feed our families. Can it get more personal? You know? Maybe you can't. Um, and we really want our guys to, 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 to go out there and to be the biggest and the best. And we really try to do what we can to make that happen. That's special, man. I like that. It could be more personal, you know, because this is their job. This is their livelihood. Some people just look at it as a supply. But, you know, without that, they don't have the food on the table. They are not able to have run a successful business, perhaps. Right. But that's special right there. I got to ask you the same question, though, maybe both of you. You have thousands of these that contractors rely on each and every day. Does that ever weigh on you, Aaron? Like, hey, listen, there are contractors that rely on this equipter out there to do their job, that rely on it working each and every day. I mean, when you're inventing this stuff, that's gotta be something that goes to your mind. So what's, what's really been uh, a pleasure for me is because I was out there and I know how hard, it work, how hard work it is. And when I think about how much easier the equipter is making it for contractors that do the hard work. Uh, it's just a lot of joy for me. Uh, and then we have contractors, you know, that they look at it and they say, well, I've been looking at it for three years and I'm gonna buy it. And then they buy one and say, man, I just wish I'd have bought it three years earlier. And then they buy their second one, their third one. And I see what it does for their crews. Uh, that brings a lot of satisfaction for me to just see. Years back, I had this thought again, I was, you know, working on the roof at one time myself for a number of years. Uh, and I saw that, you know, the people in the, on the computers, technology, or back then they were making, you know, 70 bucks an hour, they're making more than that now. And then the guys that are working hard were making 15 bucks an hour or 12 bucks an hour. And I was like, you know, someday that, that should change where the guys that are out there working hard have profitable opportunities. And so the equipter, actually does help uh, the, the guys that are out there working hard to give them a more profitable opportunity. And they deserve it. They're hardworking guys. I agree. Know? They're skilled guys. And I would say roofing contractors a lot of times are underappreciated because it's more and more that who's going to do the roofing. It's, well, those guys are out there working hard day after day, and they're doing an excellent job. And I'm actually very happy that my equipment uh, is helping them out.
I agree. Uh, absolutely. We're here right now, Eric, I'm managing partner at the Tavares location of Tavares. I'm going to get it right here. ABC Supply, and of course, the inventor of Equipter. We've got Aaron Beeler right here. Um, final question, if it's okay for each of you. Um, there are a lot of choices out there. Um, there are other contractors in this area that maybe use other people for the supply. Can you just tell us why? I mean, in getting to know you here briefly, I love that you take this thing so personal. 14 years here doing it. Why do they need to make the switch over to ABC Supply? Why do they need to do that right now? And like so many of these people I'm seeing right here in front of me already have. It starts with our people. We generally have good people. We have people that are, if anything, overly passionate about people's success. I have the largest fleet in the Southeast. I have probably the biggest amount of inventory. We work our butts off every day. And it is nothing less than absolutely ensuring that our contractors get exactly what they need. Uh, we're, we are honestly very competitive about it. We are striving to be the best. That is our goal. I tell our team every year and I tell our other managers, our goal is to be the number one branch in America. The only way we do that is if we lift up everybody else in the way. So uh, we're passionate about it and that's what's gonna end up happening. Love it. And final question then for you, Aaron. Um, unfortunately, not every contractor is using that equipment quite yet. Um, I don't know quite why not. I mean, we have, you know, I've been out there a number of your clients, but maybe if they're on the fence right now, if they've been kind of considering it, they're not sure. Um, how do they get involved? What do they need to do, man, to, to get on board what everyone else is doing? So one of the best ways to get on board is start talking to companies that are using the equipment. Don't Great talk point. to me. Don't talk to my sales guys. Call some people, get on the internet. Uh, and that's, this is actually the first time I've ever said that, but to me, I know what happens when you talk to the guys that are using the equipment. The guys that are skeptical, they haven't tried it. So if you wanna, if you wanna know uh, what the equipment does, I guess that'd be my answer is talk to some guys that are using it. It does two things. One is it gives you a very professional image, okay? The homeowners, it sets you apart from all your competitors. It's a no brainer for, homeowners are always worried about their flowers and shrubbery. Mm -hmm. You know, they're more concerned about that than the price. Okay, the price is an issue, but if you can show them you're gonna protect their flowers and shrubbery, you're gonna protect their landscaping, and you're gonna show them how are you gonna do it. I think a homeowner will not hire a roofing contractor that, that doesn't have the equipter if the company that has the equipter shows them the difference between having the equipter and not the equipter. And so then the, the other thing is, if your crews, uh, sub crews employees if they're sub crews if they can get an extra 30 square done a week what does that do for your profits if they're getting an extra 30 square done a week an extra 100 120 square a month so i would say that's my story based on my own experience in roofing i know what it did for my company how it set me apart from my competitors and how much uh easier the process was and if you want video of any of that, you can go ahead and shoot me a message, comment below, anything along those lines. I've got plenty of video of what the equipter can do for a contract. You can reach out to us, I'll put you in contact. Eric Hunt, managing partner to various location. I'll put all the information below so you can reach out to this gentleman. Of course, Aaron Beeler, founder, inventor of Equipter. We're gonna be talking with him about some new things he's got coming out for you. Believe me, you're gonna to wanna to see some of this stuff. Until next time, everybody, I'm gonna go check out this incredible event here at ABC Supply and DeVaries that this man right here and his team put together. See you later. Thank you.